Hi, uh, welcome to this new video that will assist you in uh, answering IC determination uh, questions in our presentation. Feel free to subscribe uh, for future updates. So you're supposed to click on continue once the computer loads all the plugins and uh, checks the system requirements of the exam to launch. So you click uh, continue then you click start to have the examination questions loading so sometimes it may take uh, some minutes to load uh, but you give it time to load that uh, be patient so the first question you're told to create a new blank uh, presentation so you're supposed to uh, click on the file tab of your presentation then you go to new and then select blank and click answer to continue next you're told to apply a design theme of your choice uh, to a presentation so simply click on design apply any of them in the themes uh, group uh, next question you told to save this presentation in the Z drive using the file name 2013. So click on file. Uh, after clicking on file, you go to save us. You select the drive uh, Z and then write the new name that is 2013. Click save, then uh, answer. Our next question. You asked uh, what is considered a good practice. It's using bulleted uh, points or even numbering. Next question. Uh, zoom the presentation to 75%. So you're supposed to click on the zoom control feature and then you change uh, the percentage that is written in, the, uh, in this small uh, box. You change it to 75 and then click OK. And after you're done, you click answer to continue. Uh, next question change the view mode to outline view you're supposed to click on the view tab uh, and then select outline view very simple uh, then click answer next uh, question on slide one only apply a background color of your choice so you're supposed to click on the slide first and show it selected right click go to format background and then on the right side under solid fill you're going to change it uh, to a different color of your choice for this case i apply red click answer our next question insert a new slide uh, directly after slide one with a layout title slide so just go to new slide then select title uh, slide you've just inserted click answer uh, the next question move slide six after slide seven so you uh since it's in the slide sort of view you just click on slide number six and after you click on slide number six you drag it past slide number seven slide number seven will occupy uh, the first uh, the space that actually slide six was occupying so that's how you do it click answer to continue next question remove the image of the bowling pins from the bottom uh, right corner of, uh, of all uh, the slides so you're supposed to go to the view tab uh, select slide master then navigate to the master slide at the top then click on the image and delete click answer to submit our next question enter the text tour 2013 um, into the footer of all the slides so very simple you click on the insert tab uh, go to header and footer click on footer write it uh, there tour uh 2013 once it's done apply to all click answer next question which of the following uh, is an example of a good uh, practice to use uh, a master slide when creating presentation in simple terms it's to maintain a consistent design uh, and format for all on slide two 
enter the word bowling uh, between the words there and association so you go to that slide and then check it's actually the subtitle so you click between the two then you add the word uh, bowling bowling you write it there and once you're done click answer to continue next question on slide number eight uh, change the bulleted lists uh, to a numbered list of your choice so you're supposed to go to slide number eight uh, very fast on the left side and after you get to slide number eight select everything and after selecting go to numbering and change it then click answer next question on slide two apply a shadow effect to the text the bowling association so you go to slide number two then uh, you select the text you told to add this effect to then go to format under text effects you'll be able to see shadow you can choose any of them in that category once you choose uh, the one that you wish click answer to continue next question on slide uh, three delete the word all uh, from the title so you go to slide number three very simple after going to slide number three on the title you click and then you clear all then click answer to continue uh, next question on slide number three remove uh, the indent from the bullet Belgium and make it part of the bullet list so you're supposed to select that uh, word once you select it we have the decrease indent option uh, in the alignment group so you click on it and then answer next question on slide number four enter the text game uh, uh, game four into the first row uh, fifth column so you go to the slide and then check the specific cell where you're writing it's actually the first row fifth column so you write it there and then click answer uh, to continue next question on slide number four select the first row of the table so you're supposed to navigate to slide number four and after going to slide number four just point at the left side of the of that row and then you click it will get selected then click answer next question you told to in uh, to create a stacked column chart uh, based on the data uh, below the, uh, the data is indicated uh, so you need to navigate to the slide first then click on the insert tab and uh, navigate to chart select the stacked column chart first click ok after clicking ok you now have to change this data into the data that has been provided for you so you change uh, whatever is on the excel file uh, to match what is given on the question so you can see i've changed uh, bronze silver and gold um, i want to enter the countries uh, given we have sweden we have switzerland and then um, i also changed those values uh, that is four three one we have five two and five and then before i close these and answer i have to scroll downwards to see whether there is any other value you can see we have netherlands so i also have to add uh, netherlands at the bottom after adding netherlands you can resize it to fit uh, well then change these values uh, 353 once you're done the chart is already uh, okay you can resize the data range to omit category 4 uh, then you can close the excel file then click answer to submit your question since we are done next question on slide number five change the chart type uh, to a bar chart so you're supposed to navigate to slide uh, number five and after navigating to slide number five you just have to select the chart once you actually click on the chart once you click on the chart 
questions so click on slide 5 then uh, you you expected to select the chart and after you select the chart you'll go to a tab chart uh, design and then you'll be able to see change chart type and then uh, click on bar chart and then click ok or as simple as that click answer to continue our next uh, question on slide number five change the background uh, chart uh, area color to a solid color of your choice so i have to move to slide number five and after moving to slide number five i'm supposed to select uh to select the chart uh, background and after selecting i go to the format tab uh, and after going to the format tab i'm supposed to go to format selection after clicking on format selection on the right side i change under the fill section i select a color of my choice and then uh, click on set to continue next uh, question change the master title style font to calibri in the top most uh, slide uh, master so you're supposed to go to view uh, select slide master and then navigate to the first slide you are supposed to select the master title that is given uh, yes that way and after selecting you go to home and then change the font style at, at this section to calibri press the enter key then click answer very simple next question on slide number six remove the south american uh, uh, section box from the organization chart so you need to go to slide number six and after going to slide number six you search for this south american box click on it then press delete on your keyboard click answer to continue next uh, question on slide eight align the two grouped graphical objects uh to the middle uh, relative to each other so since there are two and they have been grouped you need to select the first one and while holding the control key you select the second object for you to have selected all of them so select the first one hold the control key and select the second one and uh, then go to the format tab under align you select align uh, middle as simple as that click answer to continue next question on slide number eight copy the box um, with the semi-final and place it above uh, the c1 and d1 boxes so you have to navigate to slide number eight very fast um, so you scroll downwards to go to slide uh, number eight and then once you select that box you're supposed to copy so you can either right click select copy uh, then you right click and paste alternatively after selecting uh, the box that is written semi-finals uh, which is here so you click on it you have to uh, click on copy in the home tab clipboard group and after copying you can click on a blank space uh, right click then paste you notice that it's created at, uh, just above that one so you move it and place it where you told then once you're done with that click answer to continue uh, next question on slide number eight flip the yellow arrow above group b horizontally so you're supposed to navigate to slide eight and then select the exact um arrow so it's the yellow one click on it then after clicking you go to uh the format tab flipping is actually uh below uh, rotate so you click and then select flip horizontal then click answer uh, to continue next question on slide number eight insert an oval shape uh, between the two gray arrows uh, in the middle of the slide so you're supposed to navigate to the slide the specified one slide number eight and after going to slide number eight 
you're supposed to go to the insert tab insert tab and then as go to shapes select an oval shape that is the oval and then you draw it at this section as simple as that then click answer to continue next uh, question on slide number eight enter the text final into the circle in the middle of the slide so you just have to scroll downwards go to slide number eight and after you are on slide number eight the circle is there just click on the circle and then start typing the text will automatically uh, fit into that shape and then once you're done you click uh, answer to continue next question on slide number eight and group all the boxes are rows and circles and you also have text boxes so you go to slide number eight once again just click on it once and after clicking you can go to the format uh, tab we have group here so you select and group as simple as that click answer uh, to continue next question on slide number eight place the circle behind the text uh, it covers so what you need uh, to do is to go to the slide slide number eight and after opening slide number eight you select the object that is covering the text and then you go to format and uh, send back and you can see it has uncovered the text then click answer uh, to continue next add a transition effect of your choice to uh, slide number nine so you need to navigate all the way to slide number nine and after going to slide number nine after going to slide number nine click on it and then go to transitions you can select any transition from these ones or check for more here click on any of them that you wish to apply you can see we've applied curtains uh, that is how the effect works then click answer to continue next question on slide number nine remove the animation uh, effect from the title so you need to navigate to slide number nine and after going to slide number nine you need to select the title because the animation effect has been applied to the title so you select the title and then you go to animations uh, and then you're supposed to select none and you select none it's removed then click uh, answer uh, to continue uh, next use the appropriate function to spell check uh, the presentation and make the necessary changes so for spell checking we go to the review tab uh, select spelling the changes are suggested on the right so you can change the ones that are wrongly spelled uh, so you can change uh, others you can also ignore but if the question has not told you to ignore change click ok uh, click answer to proceed next question where should you click in order to print the presentation outlines via the slide it's actually at the top print layout you select outline click answer uh, actually we are on the last question uh, using the displayed uh, slide start a slideshow from the beginning and use the slideshow controls to navigate through uh, up to slide 8 so yes that's how you do it on the slideshow tab from beginning then navigate and after you're done click answer to continue once you're done you have already finished so you click end to submit your answers and wait for your score so you click end and then click ok and then navigate downwards to see uh, your score Oh wow, thanks. You guys, you see we've scored 100%.